Hey everyone, welcome to my channel Solid Trades, where I share top quality info on day trading, swing trading, technical analysis, and trading psychology from my six years of trading experience. Now, today I'm going to be sharing some key secrets on reading price action and how to recognize areas where a stock could potentially reverse and go down after making a huge uh, pump. No matter if you're a day trader, swing trader, or a long-term investor, this is going to save you thousands and help you able to get out on top and avoid this huge downtrend and huge loss. All right. So, um, if you really, if you understand this, if you listen to this video at the end, I think it's going to save you thousands. Now let's get started. So, uh, for the sake of this video, I'm going to be using the most famous charts, Neo or and Tesla as an example, and you can apply these same principles on pretty much any other chart. All right. So now for the sake of this video, I'm going to be showing two examples. Uh, and showing the most popular charts. So one is Neo, and the other one I will show uh, Tesla. So let's look at here how to recognize. Now, first, in order to understand, you have to understand the psychology behind it, what's happening in the chart. So notice here what's happening is this in Neo, it has been in a huge run, and the way it works is that it's making these consolidations and then it breaks out and then makes another pattern and then it breaks out and then it makes another pattern and then it breaks out and then it makes another pattern and then it breaks out so what's happened is that it has all the traders who are trading they have seen this pattern working again and again and again and again where there's a consolidation and then the stock breaks out and then there's a consolidation and then the trend forms and the stock breaks out okay so every time that happens more and more and more people find out about it and they start to enter and they and that's what caused the stock to keep squeezing okay but eventually what happens is that finally it makes another trend but notice here this time this is the first time the stock broke out right here it broke out and instead of continuing like every other time right every other time okay the stock did not break out and then it failed once that happens that is most of the time beginning of a crash okay and the reason why is because all the smart traders they get in right here okay looking for another big move but once it fails they quickly cut their losses okay and the people who don't realize what's going what's happening they just think oh my god the stock is going to come and this is a dip so they start to buy more and more and more and what actually happens is that it's not the same anymore where people are buying the dip here or people are buying the dip here or this dip or this dip it works every time but this time it doesn't work and then it just keeps going and what the worst thing is that what people do is they add to the position when they buy here let's say they add and they add more and they think it's going to come back up and look what happened it even comes back up but then fails again and now they're holding a huge bag the reason why because this is what caused it this was the reason the fake breakout it's called a fake breakout basically it breaks out and it fakes people out unlike all the other times and this is the number one thing that you want to know and this will help you a lot now it would be actually really fair to say that hey Ali now that it's hindsight very easy to say it's a fake breakout now you see it after it all happened right well during that time when it actually happened when the stock was around this area right around this area I believe and as soon as I noticed this I even made a video of it and I talked about it guys that this is gonna happen and be careful Neo is looking bearish and I did a technical analysis of it right there I'll put a post a video link down below but look here when it was right here nothing had happened okay nothing this this nothing happened and I made a video on it so it's very easy to notice in fact I was actually in Neo at the time when I was actually right here I was one of the people who bought and then as soon as I realized I cut my loss right away and thank god I did because look here right now it's at 10 bucks Okay, and it was at the time 60 bucks. Imagine 60 to 10 dollars right now, it's at 10 dollars and two cents. So, very, very important. Okay, we can look at another example if you like. Um, another example would be Tesla. So, this is a daily chart of Tesla again, very, very, um, it looks like oh my god, it's going, but notice here at this area, right at this area it's crashed for the first time and it came back up and it failed and it's been just failing since then i think it's going to come down around this area or could even down come down further more but the point is that you how would you have realized that this to get out around this area how would you have realized it so we'll just do the same practice right here 
So notice here, again, same thing happened. It was a really nice consolidation and a breakout. Okay, triangle pattern, very, very famous pattern. Then same thing happened here, different uh, uh, pattern, you know, but kind of similar. But notice here, another pattern, same thing happened. But notice here, this time, unlike all the other times where it broke out and then the stock went up, it broke out where the stock went up. Here, it broke out, it did not go and it failed. Once it fails, look what happened, crash. Okay, and then it comes up again, and then again crash. It could not go above this area. The reason why, because a lot of people are stuck now, okay? And now at the same time, all the smart money removes because this is, this is how smart money plays. When they know, they know, okay? Now, that's number, so that's the number one realizing reversals by understanding fake breakouts, okay? So that's number one. The other one is, this is a very, very another key thing to know where to, how to pr predict the reversals. Notice here what happened. The stock break fake out, came back down, and then look, where did it come back down to? The same area where it had a fake breakout at. Same area. So another area where the stock will potentially reverse if it comes back down to the same area. Now the psychology behind that is, is very, very actually simple. When the people got in, it faked them out, they got stuck. Now they're trapped here, okay? Their average cost base price around this area. So it comes back down, now they're scared, now they're thinking, oh my God, I'm, gonna, I'm in a huge loss, they're in huge pain at this area. Finally, the stock comes back up. Now all the people who think, you know what? It's gonna go to the moon, it's gonna go to the moon, but all the people who bought here are stuck, they sell at this area because they're stuck now. Because this is the area where the supply, a lot of supply happened and the stock crashed, right? So when the stock comes back down the same, comes back up the same area, all the people who are stuck, they sell and that cause another rally and that gives you basically one more chance to get out. But at the same time, if you realize this, instead of buying, you can short because you know people are stuck, okay? So that's number two. Another third one is one of the most easiest one is the support and resistance level. So what happens is that um, the stock, you have to find few resistance levels right here. So you see there's a very nice support forming right here, for example. See support, support, and then the stock cracks and then it fails, okay? So if you draw a line from the same resistance area right here, let me just clean this up. So if I draw a line support right here, look what happened. The same support now fails. The same area now becomes resistance right here. So it becomes resist resistance and the stock just cannot keep trying and trying and trying and then it cannot come back up. And then in the meanwhile, it makes this trend and the stock breaks out and then fails further. Okay. So three things that I talked about right now already. Number one is this fake breakout. Realize where the fake breakout is. Second is if the stock comes back down the same area where the fake breakout was, then again, it was going to reverse. Also, it could reverse when the stock hits particular resistance areas where key resistance areas are formed, resistance, 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 and then the stock fails. So that's also a reversal. Now, let's look at the same one in NEO as well. Similar thing happened right here. Notice here, the stock had a fake breakout around this area. Right here, there was a fake breakout. Fails, the stock comes back up to the same, pretty much the same area, you know, where the stock breakout could not go a little up, but notice here, it comes back down the same area where the stock had breakout, okay? And then again, fails. So it gives you one more chance to pe for people to get out. Similar thing also the notice if you notice here if you if I draw a, this this was a support kind of so notice here this was also resistance so exact same area let me just clear this up real quick and now look here right here okay so again third one was a resistance so also the reversal would be that if the stock is coming up to this clear resistance level where the people were stuck previously right here right it is for support and then fails resistance right here. 
And that's it, guys. So these are the three things. Now, there are lots of other things. If you want me to make you a part two, I can go on and on and on. So many different signs. Another sign is that you start to see wicks forming on the top. Um, that's another very, very good sign to see if its stock is about to reverse. But I'll make another video. I don't want to make it too long. Uh, but if you do like this content, let me know. I'll make another part two. And now, in the meanwhile, I'll see you guys later. Take care. Bye.